episode was trash. This episode was trash. This is Love and Hip Hop season. What is this? Love and Hip Hop New York season eight, episode six. Puppy Love. So the episode starts off with Rich. He's talking to DJ Self because he's trying to go and let Self know, hey, he's in Anais. And I used yeah, she married, but he's still him there, so it is what it is. He's thinking about telling Navarro, but not sure when. Self's looking at him like, she's still married. Even you're supposed to have some type of morals. He's looking at him like, what morals? Lil Mo goes and has a conversation with Remy Ma, because Remy Ma, uh, apparently Remy Ma is going to be Lil Mo's friend for the show. I mean, for the season. And Mo's hurt. She's just so hurt because she found her man is cheating and he, Remy's like, Lord, him? I didn't think he would go do something like that to Mo. I'm like, Look at, is he not this whole storyline with because she was saying that you know you just need to take it one day at a time your relationship and all of that and here i am looking at this like i don't care so we're moving on see we're down to the third scene in this uh episode already and it's with bianca and yandy they met under a bridge they met under a bridge because it was raining and Bianca definitely always dresses like she's going somewhere. And my whole thing is, why aren't the cameras following her to see where she's going? Because if she's doing all that just to go and meet up with people and then that's it. No, 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 no. You need to capitalize. Anyway, Yandy essentially tells her, yeah, Yandy wanted to go and let her go a while ago. Let's be real. We've been watching this show for years. We know Yandy's wanted to let her go for a while. Bianca's upset because Yan Bianca's trying to figure out Yandy. How are you doing this when you had male artists that were cooking for Cocoa Puffs, but yet you're going to do that to me? You're going to go and do that to me, even though you let these male artists in the past go and act a fool. Yes, because the male artists were bringing in a lot of money. You just told Yandy that you aren't bringing them money. You just told Yandy that you are in a situation where all of your money goes to your bills and to school. Shout out to you for doing school. But because of that, you're just so stressed. You're so stressed. Life's tough, and she just wants someone to bet on you. People are betting on you. The problem is, it's true. People don't want someone that's just going to go and turn up and fight all the time. You actually lose money unless you're running a fight club. That's the truth of the matter, and so that's why Yandy can't do it anymore. She can't do it because it's not profitable. It was cute for when it was like chicken noodle soup. Okay, we're going to go and revive chicken noodle soup's career. But now it's at the point where people don't even see you as chicken noodle soup. They just see you as Bianca, the woman who wants to rap that's on that reality show. And so Bianca says, look, it doesn't even matter. She's going to go and figure things out herself. Yandy says, well, look, it's my time to focus on me and my family because I want to make sure that my opportunities don't dry up because this one over here is acting no plum fool. We get it. So now Rich, he's still peddling this whole, well, apparently Navarro's father had diabetes and he was even like in a diabetic coma, something crazy, like two hours, because he went to shock. And so Navarro diabetes is something serious. And like, we know that, but you know what I'm saying. And that's when Rich was like, yo, I had diabetes. Navarro's looking at him like, Dude, I've known you for how long? And you're telling me now that you have diabetes? We're supposed to be friends? But anyway, they're talking about that. Rich is still contemplating if he's going to tell Navarro about Anais, his relationship with Anais. As of now, he's not going to do that. Speaking of Anais, Anais goes to meet up with Jonathan. And I guess they must have had a lot of time to actually think about it. They go and meet up, and Jonathan apologizes. He's like, you know, I'm sorry, because I wasn't there for you when, you know, things were going rough for you, or when that transition, or when I had my opportunities with other starlets, I took it and ran. I apologize, because I should have been there for you. We're supposed to be a family. Uh, not supposed to be a family. Was he just saying that just to say it? Or, because at one point, he even said, look, we're cousins, or like, we're related, or something. I'm thinking... I hope he was just saying that like we're that close because if Anais is saying that you went and looked up on her, I'm looking at both of you like now I now would make sense why you'd be so upset. Now that would make a lot more sense than this storyline we're trying to peddle. But she, you know, she's crying, he's crying because like we're supposed to be close. I'm sorry, you know. I let the success and other opportunities get in the way of our friendship. And I said, wait a minute, what? So it's your fault? 
okay, if that's the storyline we're going to go with, because now they're cool. So then two seconds later, two seconds later, no, in the same breath of an apology and okay, we're good, Jonathan's talked about how him and his his boyfriend, how it's tough because he's dating a singer, and he's like, whoa, that's crazy, never dated a singer before, an R&B singer. I said, okay, so are we going to actually hear the vocals or not? But Anais was just saying that the old dude doesn't even know that my relationship is gone to, you know, hell in the handbasket, and I'm partially the case. I mean, partially the reason. But hey, we're going to go and peddle all this positivity right now. Fine. Remy, she goes and opens up her store, Conceited, and it's a success. There's a lot of people there. Of course it would be. Mo's there to support. Mo wanted to go and get away, though, because Mo... She's just over her relationship right now. She was talking to Remy. She's just like, look, you two need to just work things out one day at a time. Nice that we know. Uh, KO. What's his name? His his government name. Anyway, Mo's husband, he he's there. He pops up. Now, that felt like a real pop-up. That felt like a, what are you doing here? Because Mo thought that she snuck out of the house to go there, but clearly they both got the invite. I was like, I know what she's doing. I know what my wife's doing. Let me go and take the, like, eight kids, send them with Mima, and I'll be back. So then he wants to go and talk to her. They go outside and talk, and before that happens, Remy's talking to Papoose because Papoose always reminds her about, look, we did this, we did this, we did this, so where's the baby, where's the baby, with the baby? And she's just like, look, I'm committed to this. Are you sure you're just saying, I'm committed to this? Even if that wasn't the case, she's going to be committed because, of course, or when she wanted to have a baby with her husband. So then, now we have Lil Mo. She's upset with her husband one moment. The next breath, again, all of this... In the next breath, he apologizes. He gets close to her. He's like, I love you. I'm going to fix this. You know, I'm sorry and all of that. And then she accepts it. She accepts it. They go back inside. They're supposed to shop together. No, they're supposed to shop together. This is like, ah, uh -huh. well, you know, you're not driving back with me because I didn't drive here. You know, I took a plane. Are you telling me, boy, boy you crazy? Boy, you crazy. I'm looking at her like, is this real right now? Is this real right now? I did not expect to be talking this month. Dang this show. Anyway, now Jaque, he, of course, he's friends with Bianca. And I said, look at Bianca. You look good. You look good. But where, again, where are you going? Because you're doing all that. And I said, where's the photo shoot? Where, where's the music video? Because you look good. What? What? To see your friend? Really? Anyway. He has a jerkies. That's a jerk chicken shop people in New York. And, you know, he's smart, invested that money, put it into the, so he's a partial owner. And this is when Bianca lets be known that, ooh, Sophia the Thotty, because that's the name we're going with. I mean, that's the name they're going with. I'm not calling that girl that. So Sophia, yeah, she was on the studio set with James R. And she even had an altercation with Mariah Lynn. Because James R, I guess, made Mariah Lynn feel like they were an item. So this, so then that's when now Jaque Sophia comes in, and Jaque is just like, wait a minute, you told me you weren't gonna go and do music videos anymore. She's, she's like, wait a minute, I tried calling you so we can discuss it. I said, oh, we we have to do all that, but what? That doesn't even sound like it makes sense. Discuss anyway. So then Sophia's telling her version of the story, and she's talking about how Mariah Lynn. Oh, she must have been really upset because she went and attacked me. She went and thought that I was with James R. doing something like that, which didn't make any sense because obviously I'm not. And Doug Quay just put it like this. You need to debt that because you told me you were going to leave that all behind. You And you said that's what you wanted, but you decided to backpedal the moment I turn my back, the moment I don't answer a call. How about this? Why don't you fix this? I'm going to go and work. You gonna fix this. What's with this color balance? This is getting on my nerves now. And um, you figure that out. I said, this relationship isn't real. It's not gonna last. Rich goes to his mother and we... <sighs> them humanizing Rich is getting on my nerves. Rich, his uncle died of diabetes. Diabetes runs in his family. 
like he had two family members that went blind. He had, it's a lot. So his mother is just like, she doesn't want to get that call that something happened to her boy because of diabetes. And I said, this is sad. This is, this is sad. But I just, oh, oh, Lord, forgive me. I don't care. I want Rich to do well health wise. Absolutely. But I'm not going to pretend like I want to, like I'm going to be emotionally invested in that because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. If you want the truth, if you want the not mixing words, this is it. So then we have Jonathan, his boyfriend. I said, wait a minute. So Jonathan, you and your boyfriend are in the church while he's singing secular music. It's not about you to be in the church. It's about you to be in the church and he's like doing a practice performance piece. Like what is going on here? Mona's been tr doing a lot when it came comes to churches and filming in churches f on these shows. But anyway, he, Jonathan's boyfriend, he, you know, it's a lot. It's stressful doing what he's doing. He's like, because he's a gay artist, he also has to make sure everything he does is right because they're going to be more hypocritical on him. I said, okay, I could, I could see that. Now, he was also saying that he doesn't want Jonathan's help. Because Jonathan's like, I've been in this industry for 15 years. I definitely have some connections. I can help you. He's like, no, no, I'm a man. I got this. He's like, well, I'm a man too. I can help you. And I said, oh, Lord, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. Next thing we know, James R. I can't imitate my, his voice. I can't. <laughs> I was just looking at his confession. Yeah, he's, I, I'm sorry. I had to laugh. Anyway, especially with this on top of my. Anyway. He's meeting Sophia and he's apologizing, saying he's sorry that it all of that happened. And then he goes and does this whole setup. She partially forgives him, but then he was just like, you know, to really seal the deal. He had he checked to see what type of dog she liked, and then he went and got that dog for her. It was like a miniature pup, snouser, whatever it was. She was so happy. He goes, she gives him a hug, and then he tries to kiss her on the lips, and she was like, ah ah. I like that curve, but I said, okay, she's playing games. She's playing games. She, ooh, she knows what she's doing, and I'm a little over this right now. I'm a little over this. James, I said, you need to watch it, because even though Sophia was fine with that, you need to watch it. You can't just be going and doing that stuff to women. Yeah, you never know. Just be careful, men. Ask. Especially since she was already kind of saying, no, it's not that type of party. I'm like, J just watch it, James. J just watch it. Now, Jaquay comes home. He sees the dog. He's like, oh, and the doggy cute. Sophia thought that she was really doing something by saying, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to go and just be honest with him. Be honest with him. So she goes and tells him the dog. I met with James R. to, you know, just to talk. And Jaquay already had that look of what? So then James gave me this dog. So Quay put down that dog after calling it cute. And I was like, what's going on here? Well, no, what's what's the problem? What What's the problem? I don't understand. I said, I'll tell you this right now. He went and took her stuff. Actually, I think he probably took like a bag that that she had or he gave to her and said, all right, here, take it. I don't even care. Take all of your stuff. Go. And I loved it. I loved every moment of it. He went took that stuff, threw it down the stairs, said, why are you, go and take your little pup and pooch and go back over to James R because they're not going to go and play me. And she is trying to do that. I don't care what anyone says. She's trying to play him. She's trying to go and act like, oh, yo, I'm in this. We're committed. But she's not doing any of the type of things that you would think someone that's trying to go and be in the committed relationship and not playing games with what that significant other would go and do. Trash. And then next week, again, because she's playing this reality show thing, she is scamming right here. She is scamming. Because the next week, when I tell you, she goes in, goes over to James R. says, oh my god, the dog is dying, the dog is dying. And he was like, oh, don't worry about it, baby. Don't be, don't worry about it, baby. We got it covered. We, we, we got it covered. I, you know, I'll save the pooch. I'll save the pooch. I said, there's a vet. You could have gone to, uh, you went to him saying the dog's dying. No, you wanted a place to stay because you didn't want to go and pay rent. 